Hello, dear students, and welcome back to the second class on Chapter 4, Mental Arithmetic. Now, in the previous class, we have seen about estimating the numbers to the nearest tens, to the nearest hundreds, and to the nearest thousands. Now, the next topic that we are going to learn today is estimating sums and difference. Let's call it just sums, sum. Estimating sum and difference of numbers, okay? So, we know what sum is. Sum means adding, addition. Difference, difference means subtracting. So, this is totally related to the previous topic. If you have any difficulty in this topic, please go back and view the previous topic once again for better understanding. Now, we know about sum. For example, I have this number. Sum means add. So, we're going to add like this. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry 1. 4, 4 plus 6, again 10. Now, this is the normal addition that we have come across so far. But when it comes to estimation, when you do this, this is going to be wrong. All right? This is not the answer we are looking for. Or maybe not the procedure that we are looking for. So, when we estimate sum, let's look at sum first. When we estimate sum, we're going to estimate in this manner. We will be asked questions, and depending on the question, we're going to answer. Now here, we're going to round it to the nearest 10. For our convenience, we will make our own question. We will round these numbers to the nearest 10. Now, when we round the numbers to the nearest 10, we check the digit at one's place, all right? So, if you look at the first number, 34, the digit at one's place is less than 5. So, the digit at 10's place will not change. The digit at one's place will be replaced by 0, and the digit at one's place, sorry, 10's place will remain as it is. So, your estimation for 34 will be 30. Now, if you look at the second number, 66, the digit at one's place is 6 and it is greater than 5, all right? It is greater than 5. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to add one more here. So, this will become 7. In place of one's place, as usual, we're going to replace it with 0. So, the estimation of 66 will be 70. Now, you will add them. 0 plus 0, 0, 7 plus 3 is 10. So you are getting the same answer here, coincidentally. Sometimes this will vary, all right? Sometimes it will vary. Now, when we look at the next examples and all, we will come to know of it. Now, the estimation of sum means this part. This will be called your actual sum. That means, in reality, this is what happens. This is what we know. Now, this will be called your estimated sum. All right, please do not get confused. This is your actual normal procedure of adding. This is done with estimation, okay? So, in this chapter, we're going to deal mainly with this. Unless they ask you for the actual sum also, we're going to deal only with this, all right? So, this is all about sum. Now, let's look at the next topic about uh, subtraction or difference. 287 minus 126. Subtraction. Now, for normal subtraction, what happens is 7 minus 6 is 1, 8 minus 2 is 6, 2 minus 1 is 1. But when we do it, using estimation, we are going to first estimate these numbers. Now let's estimate them to the nearest 10 again for our convenience. Now if you look at this, this is greater than 5. 7 is greater than 5. So this number here, with this number we will add 1. So this number becomes 2, 8 plus 1 is 9, 7 will be replaced by 0, all right? And 
look at this. This is also again greater than 5. So you're going to add 1 to 10's place. So it'll be 2 plus 1. So your 1 will remain as it is. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 will be replaced by 0. And you subtract. 9 minus 3 is 6. 2 minus 1, 1. So your estimation is coming at 160 while your actual subtraction or difference is 161. So estimation means rounding off to the nearest possible value. All right, getting a rough idea. So estimation is all about getting a rough idea about the sum, the product, the length, the weight, okay? So this is about tens. We did a, regarding, uh, we did this example citing only to the nearest tens. In the exercise, when we do the exercises, we will be dealing with the estimation of sum and difference to the nearest tens, then hundreds, then thousands, all right? So without delaying further, let's move on to the exercises. Now, if you can turn to page number 25, page number 25 of your textbook, here we have question time two. Question time two. This will be your second exercise for the chapter mental arithmetic. When you look at the first question, now, these type of questions, the more you do, the more you get to know, the more you practice, the more you understand. So let's do the sums together. Question number one, A. All right, before we go to A, let's read the question. Question number one states, estimate the following by rounding off to the nearest 10. Here we're going to round off to the nearest 10 only, okay? So the first number, uh, the first question is 253 plus 48. Now when you add, you add like this, normal addition, right? But we do not need this. We're going to estimate first, then add, all right? So we will take the estimation for this, we will take the estimation for this, if you look back at the question, they're asking for the nearest 10. So if it is nearest 10, we will always look at one's place. The one's place. Now the first number, 253. If you look at the one's place digit, this is three. It is less than five. So if this is less than five, there will be no changes except for this digit place. That means one's place will become zero. The other two digits will remain as it is. No change, except for one's place. In every case, tens, hundreds, or thousands, the digits place will change to zero, except for the concerned uh, particular digit that we are looking for. But we'll come to learn about that in the next steps when we deal with tens and hundreds. Here we're dealing, oh, sorry, hundreds and thousands. We're dealing with tens only. So let's focus on this. Now, since we are looking at tens, nearest tens, Look at the, check the digit at one's place. This is eight, eight is greater than five. So what you're going to do is you're going to add one here. After checking the value, whether it is less or great, greater, if it is greater, we're, we have to add one to tens place, okay? Tens place digit. So four plus one is five, and this will change to zero. Okay, these are the two steps that we always follow. So after estimating them, you can add them. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is 10, one carry. Two plus one is three. So this is your rough estimation of the sum given here. Now, if you want to check if it is near, you can always add them. Eight plus three is 11. That means one, one carry. Five plus one, six. Six plus four is 10. So again, one carry. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 300, 301. They're almost the same. So this is all about estimation. Okay, this is estimating to the nearest 10. Let's look at the next question. The next question is 78 minus 33. Now again, we are going to estimate them, so we'll arrange them in this manner. This is subtraction. So 78 and 33, we will estimate to the nearest 10. 
So when it is nearest 10, we will check at the ones place. The ones place digit with 78 is eight. So eight is greater than five. So since it is greater than five, you add one here. It is not necessary, please uh, note that. It is not necessary to write plus one here. I'm just writing this for your understanding. This, since this is greater than five, I'm adding one to show you for better understanding. So this seven plus one will become eight. And this one's place will, irrespective of whatever number it is, it will be changed to zero, okay? So your 78 estimation is 80. Now, when you look at 33, three is at one's place. Now this three is less than five. This three is less than five. So there will be no change here. So the tens place will be same three and this three will be changed to zero. Now you subtract them. So zero minus zero is zero. Eight minus three is five. 8 minus 3 is 5, 7 minus 3 is 4. So your estimation is somewhere near 45. You're getting 50 as estimation. The actual difference is 45, all right? Let's look at another example. Let's look for four digits if there are any, okay? Let's look at 1F, 1F, 1202, Minus 1,197. Now this is, these are four digit numbers, but they have asked us specifically to round off to the nearest 10 only. So please do not get confused. 1197 subtract minus. Now first you will estimate this, 1202. There are four digits, but they're asking for us for the nearest 10, so we will look at the place, digit at place once, okay? So if you look at two, this is less than five. So the number at tens uh, place will not change. So till here, it will not change. Same. Now this will be changed to zero, all right? If you look at this once place, this is greater than five. So if it is greater than five, I add one here. If I add one here, nine plus one will be 10. I cannot write like this, 10. One, one, 10. I will not write like this, but I will go for the normal addition. That is nine plus one is, I get 10. So one carry, one plus one, two, and this one will come as one, all right? So nine plus one is 10, one carry, one plus one is two, and this one will remain as it is. And for this seven, it will be changed to zero. Now when you subtract, you get zero. Your estimation for this is zero, all right? If you subtract this, the actual subtraction, since this is two and this is seven, you have to borrow something, but to borrow from zero is impossible. So we are going to shift to the hundredth place this two will become one. From here it will be, uh, one will be shifted, it will become 10. But we need one more here. We need to borrow at two. So again from here, I shift one. 10 minus one is nine, only nine remains here. One remains here. This, if I shift, it will become 12. We already know this, we have done this. So 12 minus seven is five. Nine minus nine is zero. See, we have left with nine, so nine minus one, zero. 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. So your answer is 5. So your estimation is almost near 5, all right? I hope this is clear. This is all about estimation to the nearest 10 only so far. Now let's look at the next part of the question. Question number two. Estimate the following by rounding off to the nearest hundred. To the nearest hundred. So 2A, 679 plus 392. I'm going to estimate them to the nearest hundred. That means we will check at tens place now, since this is hundred. 
Now this is greater than 5. 7 is greater than 5. So I will add 1 here. This will become 7. And these two will be changed to 0. We have, since we have, I've already explained earlier, I'm not repeating again, but since this is greater, this will be uh, greater than 5, this, here 1 will be added. The other two places will be changed to 0. All right? Check for this also. This 9 is greater than 5, so we will add 1 here. It will become 4, 3 plus 1, 4. And these two will be changed to 0. After that, we will add 0, 0, 0, 11. If you want to check, you can add this also. Uh, we'll move on to the next question now. Let's do one more question in this topic. We will look at B, since this is finding difference. 9, 3, 9, minus 6, 8, 5. So 9, 3, 9, minus 6, 8, 5. We'll be rounding off to the nearest 100. So if you look at the first number, this is 3. 3 is less than 5. So your 9 will remain as it is. And these two will be changed to 0. If you look at this 10th digit place, that is 8. 8 is greater than 5. So you add 1, it becomes 6 plus 1, 7. The other two digits, 1s and 10s, will be 0. So you're getting 200. So I hope this is clear. The other questions, all very similar, all the same steps only. Kindly practice at home. We will do one or two questions for estimating to the nearest thousand in the next questions. The question, question number three, estimate the following by rounding off to the nearest thousand. Now it is thousand. So question number A, six, five, four, three, plus two, eight, six, eight. Now, please note that we are doing this for nearest thousand. 2868. Now, this is addition. So, when you do, uh, when you look, estimate for the, uh, to the nearest thousand, we will always check the digit at hundreds place. So, when you look at the first number, 6543, the digit at hundreds place is equal to 5. The first condition is less than 5, no change. Equal to or greater than 5, that means we will add 1. All right? So this is greater, uh, sorry, equal to 5. It fulfills the second condition. So when it fulfills the second condition, we will add 1 to, to your left, okay? To your left. So you will add 1 here. So this will become 7. The rest, 3 places, will become zeros. Similarly, when you look at the hundreds place here in this number 2868, since this is greater than 5, the second condition, you will add 1 to your left, that is at thousands place. So this will become 2 plus 1, 3. The remaining 3 places, 1 stands 100, they will be changed to 0. Now this is addition, so we will add them up. 0, 0, 7 plus 3 is... 10. So your answer, estimation for this sum is 10,000. All right. Now, finally, before we wind up, let me do one more on difference. Minus 5,239. Now, this, the only difference here between these two is that one is add, one is subtract. Now, look at the hundreds place. Since we are estimating to the nearest thousand, we will look at the hundreds place. For the first number, the hundreds place digit is 9. It is greater than 5. So, plus 1 here. So, when you add this, there are no more numbers. No more numbers to its left. That means, in 10,000 place, there is no digit. So, 9 plus 1, I can write directly 10 now. Alright? And these three digits will be replaced by zeros. Three zeros. 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. And here, in the second number, if you look at hundreds place, it is 2, less than 5. That means when it is less than 5, there will be no change to this number at thousand place. So 5 
will be as it is. The three digits will be changed to zero. So when you subtract zero minus zero, 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 zero and five, you cannot subtract. So you will borrow one from this one. In place of one, it will become zero now. And this zero will become 10, right? We know regrouping, we have already learned. So 10 minus five is five. So your estimation is 5,000. You can always check what the actual difference will be. With that, you can compare your answer. And this is how we estimate sums and differences. Like as we have already learned earlier, as I've already shared earlier, please practice more to have a clear concept of this particular chapter. So I hope to see you and we'll, in the next class, we'll be discussing another topic, uh, one final topic in the next class. So till then, stay safe and take care.